Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a baby grasshopper. The hook I have in the vise is a 3761 BL that's barbless. This is a size 14. And this is a two extra long. This is actually a nymph hook, but we're going to use foam so that heavy hook does not matter. And this is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I'm going to use some yellow thread. And the foam we're going to use, this is the piece that I cut off from the blockhead popper. This is the part that I sliced off from the blockhead popper. And this piece of foam is 5 8 long. I singed the one end and rolled it. And that's going to be the butt and it's one quarter inch wide we're going to put it on there you can put it with the green down or the yellow down or you can use any color uh, sticky back foam that you want any combination that you want it's really an endless uh, possibilities on this fly I'm going to put a base of thread down I'm going to put the yellow on the bottom and I'm going to I'm using the yellow thread to help hide the hook we're going to cover the bait cover the hook get rid of our excess now we're going to take our foam body and we want the head to be just in back of the eye of the hook so there'll be some sticking off the end we're starting at the end of the flat we're going to go ahead and put a couple of wraps right here Put about three wraps and then pull it down pretty tight. Put a couple of more wraps there. Now you can advance your thread up closer to the head. And we're going to wrap it again. Make sure that's right on top. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of super glue on the bottom side. And that will help to hold it in position. Now we have that there. We have our head. We have our butt section. I'm going to take a couple of green rubber legs because it complements it. And we want the back of the leg. Hoppers have big long back legs. So I'm going to put most of it towards the rear. I'm going to have just a little bit sticking out the front. And you can always trim. I'm going to go ahead and give that a wrap twice. I'm going to take a quick jump back to the rear leg. And I'm going to give that a couple of wraps in. You could go ahead and pull that tight if you want. I'm going to take another, I'm going to measure that up to the first one, just so you don't have to do as much cutting. And I'm going to put that on my side of the hook. Take a nice quick jump up to the front. Give that a couple of wraps. I'm going to pull that tight. That one I can't pull so tight, but that's fine. Now we're right here, and so far we're looking at this. You can go ahead and gather the legs back together and trim them to the size you want. I want them just slightly past the, maybe one section, the, the very abdomen section of this hopper, past the hopper trim them both at once there we go and the front ones you can cut short you can leave them like that but you want the front ones shorter than the back ones now this is simple we're just going to take some I have olive CDC here again you could make it whatever color you would like taking a pair of them I'm 
lining the tips and this is a real long feather and I would use these feathers for a second fly also as long as you have a wing there is what's more important and we want this wing to go slightly past the abdomen gonna hold them in position and go ahead and tie them in keep your wraps right inside that same section put two or three wraps and we're going to trim the front I'm gonna leave some of it sticking off the front And like I said, I have a cut there, but that's okay. That's not going to disturb a second wing any. You could go ahead and trim this up a little bit if you want. Add another one. I'm going to go ahead and bring that thread to the front. Just take your whip finish. I'm going to take my crazy glue once again and turn that over. I'm going to put a little bit of crazy glue on the thread near the head and just go down the body one more time, just a small amount. Right now at this time it's the beginning of June and the hoppers are pretty small. They're actually smaller than this where I saw them the other day. but this will work good on the small uh, trout streams. It'll work good on the bigger trout streams where you have hoppers. Nice, durable, high-floating, small baby hopper. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.